We are less than four months from the 2022 primary election in Georgia, and there is so much at stake, including a very interesting Republican primary for governor. Our Jeff Hollinger talked about it with NBC's Chuck Todd. As we inch closer to the Georgia primary in May, there may be some movement in the governor's race. There are a few media reports that former President Trump is asking Vernon Jones to leave the race, which in theory would give former Senator David Perdue a better chance of avoiding a runoff with Governor Kemp. Joining me is Chuck Todd, the moderator of Meet the Press. Chuck, if the former state representative Jones drops out of the race, that makes it even more interesting, and it looks like the Trump factor will play a very, very large role in this Republican primary for governor, increasingly so. What's interesting, Jeff, is uh, the, the former president is seeing that he's got problems in multiple states with crowded primaries, and he's been messing around. He dabbled in Ohio. He did convince somebody to get out. Uh, he's failed to do it in North Carolina. He's failing it to do, do it here in Georgia. But it's also a subtle reminder that the Trump, you know, the Trump endorsement isn't quite big enough to do it alone, right? He's not a majority of the party. He really is sort of the largest plurality of the party, but it is a plurality. And any division, the sort of the anti-Kemp vote or the anti-establishment vote, which is really what, what this has turned into in many of these primaries, very sort of the similar thing that you're you're uh, you're covering right now. So look, I it, it if he succeeds, it, look, he's been trying to get Jones to get out for a while yeah. and it hadn't worked. You know, you got to have a landing spot, and, and I don't think they've come up with an idea for Jones that makes him think it's a good landing spot. Some good news numbers today. If, if COVID cases continue to go down, what do you think it means for President Biden and uh, sagging approval ratings? Do, does it impact it? Do you think? Look, anything that gets us looking like normal and letting folks feel normal. I mean, look, I've talked to folks inside the White House all this week about this issue, right? They sit there. They're well aware. They're like, look, we know the numbers make it look like the economy's great, but nobody feels like it because they think, oh, my God, what's going to change tomorrow? Is my kid's school going to close tomorrow? Right. Am I working from home tomorrow? Is, something I, is there another variant out there that I don't know about? It's simply the uncertainty. All, it was funny, and talking to some folks at the White House, they're just hoping for certainty, right? Six months of the same thing um, will then let people absorb the environment around them, which economically right now is not bad. But because everything has been so uh, unstable, nobody believes the environment around them because they think uh, it's, you know, it's like Atlanta weather in the winter. Uh, if you wait a second, it'll change. <laughs> and it is changing very much, not only today, but for the weekend. And speaking of yes, the weekend, as we make the eternal segue, Meet the Press Air Sunday morning at 10 o'clock on 11 Alive. Chuck, thanks.